I have to ask you kind of a fun, a fun and challenging question because you appear up for challenges. Right. <laughs> Is this delicious wine? What celebrity? Would you say it it reminds you of it is yeah. <laughs> it's Queen Bay. <laughs> For many Chicagoans and food lovers alike, this man needs no introduction. For the rest of you, he's Philip Boss, chef owner of Michelin starred restaurant El Ideas. Philip is on a mission to redefine fine dining, starting with their BYOB policy. His wife and business partner Akiko sat down with us. I think we're the only Michelin star restaurant in the world that cake stands happened in the dining room. We are a little judgmental, but we are accepting of that lifestyle. So not only did we BYO, we BYOBB'd today. So. <laughs> Don't be fooled by Belinda's low-key approach. She's a James Beard award-winning sommelier and beverage director. She spent her career choosing and pairing wines in the finest restaurants, including Charlie Trotter's and The Modern. We have one white and one red that we brought from two different appellations of Bordeaux. It's called Chateau Gravy La Coste, and it's from the Grave Appellation, so that's the first. B in our BYOBB ladies. This one <laughs> Cheers. Well, this is a new release, so it's a 2015, so it's gonna be fresh and clean and minerally. It's, it's like Asian women, you know, like. <laughs> it's good okay. old, but it's also good young. Okay, cheers to cheers that. Cheers to that also. Awesome. L Ideas is a unique experience. This place only seats about 30 people per night and serves one single tasting menu. I asked Belinda to bring a white and red Bordeaux that could hold up to a range of diverse flavors. My greatest memory from school lunch is kids asking me, why does your lunch smell like socks but looks like Hello Kitty? <laughs> wow, I know this experience. Can we, can we just all hold our hands and yeah. kumbaya? Yeah. So we also have a red today. Mm -hmm. So this one's called Chateau Montgravy. Since we've got a table of sexy, smart girls, I love that we're doing a wine from the Appalachian of Margot. The wines have beautiful aromas and are a little floral and, and oftentimes redolent of, of violets. So we're gonna see if we can find that in the glass. And how, how much is that gonna run me? So you're gonna see this in the store for about 25 bucks. Why do you think this is gonna pair well with this red? I just know, because now we're having fun. Final question, hangover cure. Sex. 